Hello there, so this is a quick overview video of how to get started with 2D platforming. Uh, not my favourite uh, genre, but it's still very important and a lot of people find it want to go there as a beginning pathway to learning. So I'm going to show you a bunch of assets that are free, a few that cost a little bit of money, and I'm going to show you path I would say to get up to right speed uh, with making a 2D platformer. So the the goal of this video and maybe I'll do more than one video that day <laughs> is to try and get a working 2D platformer going and to try and get an inkling of the coding involved behind it. Now load of various assets we're going to use. Uh, so I will try and start Right, uh, here, this one here, this links of all the various very cool, uh, tutorials. We're going to use Sunnyland asset from the asset store. Grab that whilst you can. And this one here, particularly if we open it up, I've up already, I think, here. This is Bracky's, uh, absolutely fabulous resource, uh, on YouTube. And he provides the project that he's done at the end, uh, which is amazing. So you click on that link, you get the asset uh, from the asset store to open a new tab, and then we open the code in another. So it's moved, but it's still here, thank goodness. So grab it whilst you can, because it's a shame not to have it. Sunnyland. I just think it's a great retro look at everything. And retro is good because it cuts down the the demand in terms of artistry and everything, uh, but it's still it's an art form in itself. You get look at these beautiful. I know we've got an animation set, a tile set, and everything. Amazing. Uh, so that's great, uh, and the basic building blocks. We, uh, so we're going to use Sunnyland. We're going to use Brackies, and what you do with Brackies is. You download the file, I don't know if put it up here on the folder somewhere. Okay. Yep, yep, I know that's it. Uh, so, you end up with a zip file, you unzip the zip file, you go in, you go all the way down to assets, you select all, control A, copy that, copy, and then go to your, uh, Unity, and open, Show and explore. So right click, show and explore, bring up assets, control paste, and merge everything together. And it's you merge the brackets one with this. And then we've got something like this. Um, so we've imported, first of all, we imported Sunnyland, then we import, then we copy and paste brackets on top, and we end up, we should end up looking at something like this, which is the very start of something. We've got a rigid body, 2D rigid body coming up and down, great and left and right. Nothing much else, but it's I would probably say up arrow for we probably want the space bar for um shooting things, but whatever. Uh the only thing is it doesn't have scrolling camera, so we, well it hasn't it hasn't got scrolling camera and it hasn't got uh monsters and pickups and things like toys. It's very, very basic, but it you know it's getting us a big step forward, firstly of brackets, and then we're going to have a look at the code, look at what he's done, and some of the common, the reason I'm working backwards in reverse engineering rather than trying to forward engineer from, from nothing, I mean, one of which is that I am not the best coder in the world, I'll put my hands up to that, uh, I can get, get the job done, but it is painful for me, but the other thing is, once you've got working code, you can work backwards. And then <clears throat> some of the common mistakes when you're actually going forward and generating this code and trying to write it down uh, is to forget the semicolons at the end, to forget the public at the beginning. And if you're defining a float, make sure you've got an F at the end and then semicolon. For some reason, it needs to be hard cast so that it knows that it's a float. So uh, public means it's accessible from when we look in. When we click on an asset here, like the player, things like this are all publics, so that you can actually change them here or drag things in. All these ones are public. 
Um, we've added a, well, Bracky's added a 2D, rigid 2D body, and that's all well and good, and that will get us to this point. But then our next point is, well, how do we add more functionality? And it's, uh, it's tricky. Uh, so, the thing about Bracky's, I don't know who has changed this, but what we could really do is going to take it from this stage all the way through to getting all the functionality that would be very useful. So that links us nicely to I think I can find it. Uh, here. No, that's to do movement here. Right, so we should probably put that one here. So we've we've got this link which is all the uh 2D stuff. Then we've got this link, and this is Alvin Rowe. I don't like it to do. Um, and that will take us step by step through the basics using the same tile sets, so we're not going to get too confused by varying tile sets. And then we've got the brackets thing. So, <coughs> brackets gets us up and going and moving, and we walk, you can watch that and get some idea of coding. And then this one is a lot more step by step, which is very cool. Yeah, so, and that's the same guy there. Uh, and, what strength is this? Is this, <coughs> yeah, this is sunny land, so we need that. Let me that one. We need sunny land, sunny land. Okay. Okay, this brings us to this one. 200 quid is a lot of money. It's only one and a half hours. However, <coughs> Unit Udemy does offer these courses for a tenner every so often. So when this is on it for a tenner, I think you grab that as well. And that again will take you step by step through through the, the process. And for a tenner, I think it's an absolute bargain. Two hundred quid, I think it's eh, uh, it's uh, it's it's for me because I don't have unlimited sources of money. Uh, it's too expensive. But for anyone who, I would say it's. You know, from the look of the ratings, people really like this course, but I would wait until there's a Udemy sale on, whilst they still do sales. This is, so, uh, I would grab that one on a sale. Um, this free platform game asset, that seemed, that was recommended. Uh, one of the things we can do is do a search for 2D, 2D platformer. Uh, in the asset store, and then we're going to be really harsh about 2D. Look at that. That's just, oh yeah, it's breathtaking. Uh, and there's a free one here. Uh, and the other, <sighs> I'm just, I'm always astounded by it. The 2D platformers are a great place for artists. <laughs> they can go crazy. Anyway, free assets. Oh, it's beautiful, it's just beautiful. Anyway, 2D free assets, that's not good. Uh, not even that's decent enough, but this 2D hand grafted environment, even that's quite good. Uh, so we go there, well, we've got side scrolling there. And this is how I, this is how I would operate, I would just grab this free stuff and, and, and to begin with, to get to grips with everything. Uh, side scrolling. So here is, we've got animated pilot over there. Anyway, side scrolling platformer free. So we've got a decent tile set, plus it's going to hopefully show us how to do a brutal 2D mega pack. Let's see, this is probably the paid one. So it's not, it's not a huge amount of money for an awful lot of content, but that's, that's if we're actually developing, but we're going to go back and we'll just, uh, the 2D platform and just keep hammering away at the search, not get too distracted by the, the paper. We, we need to limit the budget as long, as much as we can. So the 2D platformer tile set, 
Uh, oh yeah, and we need to change the to free assets. And this, yeah, we've got this lovely, uh, beautiful environment, and we've got two D side scrolling. So if we could, hopefully, that will show us how to do side scrolling. And yeah, we'll look at those another date. Um, so we've got this link here, which will give us a whole load of decent free tutorials. We've got this amazing thing, which is a whole step by step using the, the box. We've got Bracky showing a 2D, very basic 2D movement with working code. We've got Sunnyland, which is the free asset. We've got this Udemy course. Uh, we'll get that when it's cheaper. Um, this is the 2D platform search with free, free assets. Uh, and science and technology Twitch. So it's a place to hang out and ask questions and see if there's anyone else doing the same thing or start your own channel. I think Unity Engine, no beginning, is probably going to get people coming in and saying hello, whether they're high level people or whether they're um, beginners like yourself. There's just a community area where you, you know, community areas, anywhere you can meet other people and chat to them, you're going to get across fertilization of ideas, which is a good idea. Uh, and it's the reason I decided to do this video actually is some guy was just having a go. I thought, well, that's a good idea. I'll try and help. But this is just a help video, really. Um, so I think that's so most of the links. Oh yes, 2D game kit from Unity plus a Unity Learn course. That's really worth doing. Um, yeah, this big portal it looks really good actually. I'm very impressed by their 3D game kit. Their 3D game kit light is something I use in my 3D kit course. So I think <coughs> I've been putting off going into 2D because uh, I'm just not that bothered about it. But for beginners, I think it's a really good idea. So. 2D game kit, this is really good. Uh, platform right there, I don't really get these ones. I don't like the graphic, the lack of graphical style. I prefer having beautiful graphics to look at. This stuff, not, not for me, but it is, again, a free thing for you to learn. It's their next thing they're doing. Doesn't do much for me. Okay, this 2D platform again, what is that? Over there. So this 2D platform game to this is six pounds, but what it does do is provide let me watch it. No sound, so it doesn't matter. But this, although it's a bit uh, not very optimized, it's got clouds moving, uh it's got monsters, it's got two types of combat, it's got you know, it's got arrows which are cool and a beat 'em up thing. Um Enemy archers and enemy things plus the scrolling. So this is all working with the code. So for, for seven quid, I think that's an incredible asset. I think I will probably get that and use this. And this, uh, okay, this will. Of course, it's distracting. Uh, so that's a really good. I think that's a really good resource. Uh, just to get up and going and see how to do it, how to get it working. So, there you go. I think that's, uh, all I really want to talk about in this video. So, download, <coughs> uh, Unity 2019 long-term support with a dark, it had a dark mode, which is lovely. Uh, then, <sighs> download the brackies project, copy the assets into the assets folder, and then we get to this stage. Now, then what we're going to do is <clears throat> have a look here at all those things, but really what we're going to do, I suppose this is even more important, <coughs> uh, is we're going to go and do this tutorial here which is free and available and it will help us through. So we're going to take go from here, go through all his videos, then we're going to we've got the brackies thing 
and then we're going to have a look at this stuff. We need sunny land, so that needs to be and that's kind of primary. Uh, and that stuff is beautiful, but we don't need it straight away. We don't need that straight away. So we need to download Sunnyland. We need to follow through these platformer tutorials. We should definitely spend 20 minutes looking at brackies. Uh, and when when this course is cheaper, we'll get that. And that will talk us through the same tile set. So we're all in the same tile set all the way through. Here it varies off into other tile sets, but still useful. And then, uh, possibly spend some money on this 2D template. Definitely have a look at the 2D game kit available by Unity and grab that before they deprecate it so it's no longer available. Uh, and also the Unity Learn section if it's still available for free. Um, and like I say, 2D template and also honorable mention 3D, free asset, 2D handcrafted art. It's just beautiful. Look at it. Look at this ass. Look at it. It's just beautiful. Uh, no way. These obtrusive pop-ups. Anyway, um, I'm I think we'll, I won't bother, I won't hard, re I won't hard recommend the platform might be going, uh, if, if you, if it appeals to you, sure, but, um, I will hard recommend to the game kit, that's for sure. Uh, and I will only recommend this one if you can get it cheaper. Unless you've got a lot of money to spend. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. I'll put all the links in the video below and that should provide a little bit of support if you're trying to work your way through how to learn Unity 2D with a platformer. Put any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.